Hey guys, this is Odon Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we are on the test server and I'm going to show something pretty fun that I just wanted to test out and that is a speed farm team for the Iron Twins stage 15 that uses Hammock. Basically as uh, the only unkillable champ. This is something that I was thinking when... Uh, you know, when I was thinking about what should I do some more content with Emek and I knew that you know, I, I th remember the Iron Twins, you know, and the block damage comps that usually people use uh, either a Helicath and three Painkeepers and Geomancer or there's variations with Helicath, Roche card or like, you know, two block damage and killable champs with some reset in there and then a Geomancer as DPS in there. So basically what I thought was like, you know what, uh, Emek does a reset on his A2. So what, what does that mean? Well, I guess that means we can drop a painkeeper from that team. And instead of using three painkeepers, we could have a look at maybe using two DPS champions in the team. And that got me thinking. And honestly, I, I went and just YouTube on uh, checked for on YouTube for one of those teams. I just copied most of the speeds. I went a little bit into uh Yang's what's it called uh yang's uh oh my god i cannot speak calculator he has a calculator for this uh for the iron twins itself i'm gonna link that at the end actually you know what let me let me just open it give me a second so uh i just find exactly the calculator i think i actually i, th I actually found the calculator on one of cold Brew's videos so let me just get a link over there and basically this is just a link that like cold Brew made for himself okay so this is the one share with the champions that he had what i did is like I mentioned, it's just, I jumped over here, I put in here Amic, straight up, boom, then uh, I had a quick look, and I said, you know, let me just put a, I was trying to put Gnut, but it doesn't work, so I put a cold heart in there, because I don't like Gnut's not in the calculator, and what I realized is, if I, by tweaking a little bit of speed, I, I even lowered his speed, like I could lower some speed, but I didn't want to play too much with it, because I don't have experience with this calculator, I have not played with this team much, so I did not want to, you know, just break it. So I just tweaked a little bit the speeds. And what I came up to is, actually, let me just change this because it was something like the other way around. Put this over here and then cold heart over here. So I, I came to a team that looks like this. Let me see what the 226. Yep. So I came to a team that looks like this. And basically, you always have unkillable. And you always get to do the damage. Like, I prefer to do the Heart Seeker first. So, because the way that Cold Brew had, like, this link specifically, Geomancer was first. But if you came, come with a max HP hit after that, it basically cleanses the HP burn. So I just swapped the speeds around, you know, and kept uh, Geomancer as the last one to go before Emic so that the team works. And, you know, what? Let's, let's just have a look at the team. But first, like I said, the first team that I'm going to use is I'm going to use with Gnut because I wanted to see how Gnut, maybe Gnut can, can speed this up because you know what, he has a triple hit max HP on the A3. The only downside is he's wrong affinity. So for what I'm facing today, Gnut is wrong affinity. So he's uh he might just weak it. He might just, you know, see stuff like that happening. But honestly, this is this team is pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to show you the presets as well. And one thing you need to keep in mind is that the boss does ignore unkillable. Keep that in mind. Once the boss the boss gets on under 40% HP, he ignores unkillable. But from what I've tested this team so far, that does not matter because only one champion will die, and that is Amic. Again, this is uh I, I'm on the test server, and unfortunately, I did not, you know, I cannot get unlimited keys to keep testing this and keep running it to say it's 100 percent consistent. But from what I've run it so far, there's nothing that I see that could that should make it fail. You know, it's like everybody's skills falls at the right time. There's nothing that gets that gives us extra thermometer boost in there, you know. So everything should fall at the right time. Because even if you proc the boss, the only one that actually does buffs in the team is Amic himself. Okay. Apart from Amic, everybody see this is what happens, and this is where the tricky part happens. Because he can weak hit, it's not. Uh, it's I, like I said, I did not test it enough, so it seems like because he weak hits, he's not perfect. However. When I was cold heart, it looked a little bit better. Let me just put in that cold heart instead of uh, Gnut. Where's my cold heart? Actually, I can you look at recently used because you know what? I just recently used that. So yeah, that's that's the thing with using Amic is like he allows you to uh, 
He allows you to reset the skills himself, which means you can drop one of the pain keepers and then you can get uh, more damage out of everybody else. Again, this is a work in progress. I'm actually going to have a look in, at this one and maybe even build it on my main account because you know what? This is a pretty fun team. This makes it speed farm. It makes it be a lot faster. Normally, the, these teams with Geomasters, they only use Geomasters as the DPS and it can be a bit tricky. It can take a while, so they're not perfect. However, it seems like this one works... Uh, this one with Emig works pretty well because you can have an enemy max HP nuker, and it's like in my case it's Coldheart, and then you can have Geomancer for the extra damage in there when this happens. Boom, boom, boom. It, a little bit of RNG maybe comes into consideration on how uh, how the boss procs that damage because he he always tries and kills Emig, but look at this with Coldheart, it's gonna be 50 seconds. That's crazy. 50 seconds 49 seconds we call hard so you know what it might just be better instead of using the instead of using the gnut which is gonna be a problem against magic just use call hard because call hard is void affinity the damage should be similar or the damage should be the same every other turn like nothing can change from here the only thing that maybe can be tricky is if the boss gets procced maybe that you don't have the hp burn but for what i'm seeing there's always the hp burn you know like i said from what i ran it so far the hp burn is always there from geomancer we can always we always do the damage maybe if like the boss's hp takes from the hp burn a little bit too down uh, down and then uh he cleanses it you lose a bit of damage but apart from that look at this this is crazy this is crazy bro is it gonna be at like 40 seconds <laughs> oh my god this was almost 40 seconds this was almost a 40 seconds run just by using Emic, Coldheart, and Geomancer. That's crazy. Look at that, 47 seconds. Like I said, I'm not kidding. I'm 100% going to be building this for my main account because it's crazy. It's so fast and looks consistent. looks like it never fails. Let me, let me just quickly show you a little bit uh, the presets because it's, <laughs> it's just wow. So the presets, nothing for Emic. He does what he has to. He does the unkillable at the right time and he does the A2 at the right time. If you see that it's a bit tricky, just prioritize the unkillable and then second priority this one, okay? But kind of looks like Emic does the stuff the right time. For Cold Heart, just prioritize the Heart Seeker because you always want her to do that. And I'm not sure I would... Uh, lock the a2 because if you have giant slayer on her maybe with a a1 she can proc the giant slayer several times and you can cleanse that hp burn that weakens so that might not be perfect so just leave it as it is just prioritize heart seeker then for geomancer prioritize the a3 and then just lock the a2 you don't care about the a2 i don't think you ever use it anyway but if you do end up using something you want to use a1 to save on the animations of him running there and just hitting the bots with the club then the pain keepers First priority day three, second priority day two. Honestly, I'm not really sure if these matter. I think as long as you have the priority of the A3, you are good to go. And uh, let me just quickly show you the speeds, because basically it, it's all about the speeds. I would say again, I'm gonna link the the calculator, the Yang's calculator in the pinned comment and the description of this video. So you can have a look and maybe play around with it and make sure you check it before it, it, it fails. Do not get Rolantus on your people. Like I had to swap my Gnu when I tested from the Rolantus because obviously he gets extra turns, he goes out of the unkillable, and he dies. So that's that's a no-no. So Emic runs at 265 speed. You don't care about anything else. I'm not gonna lie. You don't care about his damage, you don't care about his survivability or accuracy. You just need to get him at 265, and that's it. However, you do need to have his A3 and his A2 booked. Keep that in mind. A3 and A2, A2 booked in order for this one to work. Maybe I could even, you know what? Let's just do this for the sake of the video. Uh give him a minute. I will try to swap his build. I will try to give him brimstone and see maybe if that helps more. Maybe with brimstone we can do it even faster, or maybe not, because you know what? The the thing is with brimstone the boss procs that let me build it now it's gonna be right back okay i rebuilt emic i gave him some accuracy i gave him brimstone now let's see how it goes it might not be perfect it might not speed it uh, up a lot because well he basically only does the a2 every other turn so it might not come into help into consideration might not change it a lot but maybe if you get a higher awakening like i have a four star because i won mine from the from the tournament but if you have a five star or six star that could be even better so he does not put a brimstone the first one he should put obviously depending on rng the brimstone over here so he did not because it's not 100 percent so i'm not sure if it can change anything or if you'd rather just have something else on him you know you might just want to have another uh, blessing on him that might help you for other areas because yeah it seems like he just does not want to land that brimstone i do have a uh, 
And they'll build the accuracy on him because in order for you to land Brimstone, unless it's a, I think it's a six star that you need. And they'll build the accuracy, so hopefully it's gonna, okay, finally it landed. Okay, so it's not gonna do over here, but then it cleansed it. So I guess Brimstone is not gonna do much of a change for this team. So, you know, eh, it is what it is. Maybe, maybe if you had Gnult and you had the Brimstone there, it made it faster. But honestly, it's, I don't think you really need that. Like this team works so well that you don't really care about that. Look at this, 50 seconds all the time. The team's consistent. You don't really care about anything. So just ignore the Brimstone. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, 265 is the speed you need on him. Then on Geomancer, the speed that I gave was around 226, 229. Again, look in the calculator, test your speeds, and make sure you have the right ones and that every skill falls into tune at the right time because what you want to see over here is you want to see like this. Uh, let me see. I think I need to up the speed, was it? No, let me get him back to 265. He needs to go slower. No, he needs to go faster. She needs to go slower. Yeah, so basically what you want to see over here in the calculator is... At least from this third, you want to see Coldheart going first, Painkeepers, Geomancer, and then Amic. This is what you want to see every single time. If you see that, it means you're going to be okay. Normally, this one, if you have with the block damage comp in this calculator, you're going to see it keep going to like 50 turns. But, well, with the unkillable, it's not going to go all that way because... As soon as the boss drops, the boss drops under 40% HP, he's going to kill whoever he's going to target with the A1. And for what I've seen so far, it's Emic every time. But the boss should be so low on damage that by the time he actually kills with the A1 somebody, you should just have the boss almost dead from Geomancers, HP burn, and from Coldheart's Heartseeker. So yeah, keep in mind, check the speed over here if you want to tweak some stuff. So I have 229 on my Geomancer. Then on the Cold Heart, I have 200. I actually even have 216. Like even have completely different, but it still works. If I put it again in the calculator, just so I don't talk rubbish with 216, 229. See, even at these speeds, it, it works. You can even come in here and try to play with it and load your speeds or hire them, you know, depending on what you have on your account and see how this one goes. But yeah, Cold Heart is at 216. She has good crit damage, good attack. You basically you don't really care about her accuracy. You just care about crit damage. So she does the damage enough from the Heartseeker. Masteries have Giant Slayer, like I said. So I let her do the A2 as well. Then I even have two Pain Keepers, which you only need to have booked. At least I'm not sure you, don't re you really care about the A2. But I think you actually do. Because maybe if, she, if they do A1s, they get Terminator. So yeah, I guess you need the A2 and A3 fully booked. Again, like I said, guys, I have not played with this time with the Rosh card, the Helicath, and Killable for Iron Twin. So if I say something wrong, I'm sorry. It's just this is I took a team that I've seen somebody and tried to adapt it using Emic, and well, this this is the result. But yeah, I have two Pain Keepers, one at level uh, one, four star, one at level thirty. Both have the A2 and A3 booked. No masteries. And they just do their job. One of them is at 230 speed. And the other one is at 235 speed. That's all you need. Okay. That's all you need. Uh, Emic. No masteries. Like I could have bought the masteries for him and used them. But I don't need them. Because you know what. Why Why would you need them? Maybe if you had some more master, You could do some more damage. But I don't really think it's worth it. I think this one works just fine. But yeah. This was a really fun video. I'm really happy. <laughs> decided to try this out and i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you you like it and like i said i think i'm definitely gonna build this for my main account because right now i don't really have a use for amic and uh even if i do you know what even if i would build my amic i would build them for arena to take advantage of this one you know build them tanky with high accuracy uh, uh, or maybe fast with high accuracy so that he can proc this and do the taunt and then be annoying in arena but if i'm gonna do that I'm definitely going to get them at a high speed. So maybe I'm going to be able to do that and use it for you at the same time. But anyway, this is going to be a follow video today, guys. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.